Following carnage this week on global financial markets, there was still some hope for a show of unity from world financial leaders. After a day of much anticipation on Friday, G20 finance chiefs convened a late-night press conference where there was only one question on people's minds. What would they do to head off further market turmoil? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm going to disappoint you. We have but this grouping of the world's biggest economies, which had managed so successfully in the grip of the last financial crisis to jumpstart growth, today had nothing new to add. Any lingering hope that the G20 will act decisively to dampen market fears is evaporating. The markets don't believe the problems of Greece and other European Union countries can be solved in time. Markets this week had already made known their alarm at a steadily worsening Eurozone crisis. But the G20 on Friday chose to pass the buck, insisting that a plan hatched in July to bolster Europe's bailout fund was enough. And anyway, the grouping had no wish to dictate policy to the Eurozone. But such an attitude looks like folly. Economist Nouriel Roubini told us in a telephone interview that fiscal stimulus was now vital and warned that pushing austerity measures could trigger another global depression. The risk of contagion from advanced to emerging economies is also rising. Veteran financial firefighter Bill Rhodes told us in an interview that European politicians needed to learn lessons from past emerging market crises. Well, I think we need better leadership and more active leadership. And I think the opportunity starts right now with the finance ministers and central bank heads, the head of the IMF and the World Bank, right here in Washington, similar to what we saw in 2008 after the fall of Lehman Brothers. All eyes still remain on the IMF this weekend. But with the clock ticking down to the opening of markets on Monday, the mood in Washington is grim.